And I haven't unmuted my mic. Hello, hello, everybody. And um, we just uh, send this out. We should be good to go. So do we have for you? Odyssey versus Dishcloth Bandits. I'm just going to go ahead and check that these are the right sides. My floppy is Odyssey. It is indeed swapped. So there you go. And uh, we should be getting started very soon. Let's uh, unmute that one. Uh, hello to Sputnik in the chat. One of the fellow, one of our casters, and uh, somebody that I cast with very often. And um, very. Uh, Great guy. <laughs> Should I say myself? Um, but yeah. So looking at the connoisseur votes um, for this match, we've got 14 for Dishcloth Bandits and uh, nobody voting for Odyssey. Um, but I mean, just looking at the MMR, uh, the previous. Uh, uh, the previous match history, which um, I don't believe these game, uh, these teams in particular have played uh, together before, or against each other before, but uh, both of them have an even record. 
So uh, it should be pretty, uh, a pretty even match. And uh, here we will be kicking off round one. So, out goes the Joust, and uh, winning it will be Dishkoff Bandits. Tabby taking it for them and clearing it away, but going to go straight to Ground Dog, who's just going to hold this back for Odyssey. And Tabby actually getting uh, a little bit of a grab on that one, but uh, slapping it right back to Yogzi, who is uh, going to try and find a little bit of a pass here. Ground Dog putting on, on some nice pressure there, but uh, not quite enough, and uh, Tabby is able to recollect this yet again for Dishkoff Bandits. This one crossed over to Yogzi, and uh, Yogzi gonna try and find a cross here, but uh, no, it's gonna be stolen away, that's some really nice defense from Odyssey, and from Mickey Man, so Atrello trying to pick this one up for himself now, and uh, cross this one up to Tabby, Tabby looking for Snowy Blue, but uh, on that pass, we'll just miss a catch, and now, uh, gonna be trying to recover it, Odyssey, but no, Tabby, oh, in fact, with the shot, but the save just isn't quite there, Ground Dog putting it in the goal himself, by mistake, so that's going to be the first goal to Dishcloth Bandits. Really nice work there on the defense by Odyssey for the first half of it. Uh, but Dishcloth Bandits managing to recover the, uh, cover it plenty of times and enough to get that, uh, that goal. So uh, yeah, they'll be coming ahead with the first two, but... Uh, Odyssey trying to get something done on the offense here, but that's really nice pressure put on there by Dishcloth Bandit's stack, and uh, this pass back will just uh, will just go straight to Ground Dog, but Snowy Blue also intercepting his pass, so Atrello trying to walk this one up. In fact, we'll tr uh, opt for the back pass to Tabby, uh, just missing, but uh, it shouldn't matter too much. You have plenty of time on the offense, uh, the offense there, and Yogzi trying to walk this pass up to Atrello. Atrello to Snowy Blue, and now Snowy trying to put this one in. Ops for three-point shot. But saved by my floppy. Uh, a little bit too far out there. Maybe should have opted for a pass uh, in the bubble. But nonetheless, it's going to be uh, Admin Austin trying to take that shot. Uh, Ad Admin Oddman, sorry. And uh, and Tabby's going to try and take this one and uh, gets that uh, nice pass up to Yogzi. And uh, Yogzi's going to clear that down for them. So uh, now looking for a stack battle. And my uh, cursor isn't in the right place. So I can't press the A key. <laughs> Mickey Man. Uh, gonna look for uh, a little bit of a steal there, but Yogzi trying to take that one for himself, gonna get stunned away himself as well. Ground Dog now clearing this one away into the pass of Adman Odman, who is gonna try and take something done on the offense here, but not quite there. Uh, the shot just missing, and Mickey Man with the second opportunity, but Snowy Blue saving that one away and getting the clear for Dish Cloth Bandits. And now Tabby taking this one. Uh, Tabby, uh, a, a pretty long time player actually. Um, of Echo Arena. Not in uh, competition, I don't believe, but um, has been around for quite some time. Um, it's a name I've seen quite frequently in pubs, so... Uh, Snowy Blue gonna gonna just clear this one back, but just missing his teammate, and in fact this will be all the way down in the Dish Club and its bubble now. And now taken by Yogzi, and uh, trying to get this one cleared away. Ground Dog though, getting the, the stun. But he manages to slap that one far away enough that uh, they don't manage to get anything done on the offense from uh, the missed pass. So good recovery there, but uh, going to be Ground Dog recovering it for Odyssey now on uh, on their half. They uh, just two points down here, so uh, not not a not a huge uh, hill to climb. But uh, this one being slapped away yet again by Dishcloth Bandits, and going to be Ground Dog trying to walk this one up. And uh, find a little bit of a pass here. And uh, he does make one, but uh, oh, unfortunately just missing the player, the the block, uh, blocking it there. But Snowy Blue managing to get this pass up to Tabby, but Tabby missing the hands on it. And uh, going to be Ground Dog recollecting yet again for Odyssey, but no, taken back again by Tabby. Tabby opting for the bounce shot, not quite online though. And now going to come back to Yogzi, who is going to try... And uh, walk this one up, and uh, passes this one to Nest, but missing the hands yet again, unfortunately. Um, but he's going to be recovering it at the back. And now slow, uh, Snowy Blue going to look for the shot, fakes a couple of times, and then puts that one in for the two. 
Nice offense by Dishcloth Bandits to get that one in. And Snowy Blue with uh, a couple of uh, fakes there to, uh, to fake out the goalie. Working very well and uh, making those points. So now Dishcloth Bandits finding themselves 4-0. And just go into the chat again. The real Atrello. Seeing. Yeah. And then uh, Spot with uh, Dishcloth Bandits. What a name. What a name it is. That is a very good team name. Admin Odman. Going to try and clear that forward Odyssey though. But it's not uh, going to work. It's going to go straight back to Tabby's hands. And the Trello just going to um, try and take that one. Not quite working out. Oh, the three-pointer though. Almost there. But uh, not quite. It's going to bounce away. Ground Dog's going to try and slap this one um, further. But, oh, a little bit of a laggy interaction there by Yogsy. But uh, going to be recovered here by a stun from Snowy Blue and Yogsy taking it for himself here. I'm going to try and walk this one through. A nice cross past the Tabby, but missing the hands again, unfortunately. Happening pretty frequently for Dishcloth Bandits. And actually, going to be Tabby taking that one around the block. And at scoring in the bottom left corner. So very well placed shot as well by Tabby. And now are finding themselves 6-0. A little bit of a disarrayed uh, joust here. So they won't find any passes off of that one. And now Snowy Blue looking to collect this one for Dishcloth Bandits. And uh, going to try and get this one down. In fact, it looks like we see a disconnect for Odyssey, which is why we saw the, such a disarrayed uh, QB uh, lineup. A Trello missing that pass, though, down to Tabby. And Tabby going to try and collect this one, but Ground Dog quick on the slap. Tabby actually recovering it from that. And it's going to bounce here off the wall straight to... Uh, ground Dog from Odyssey, who is going to try and get that clear now, and uh, we'll find it this time. Going to see if we uh, see a stack come out here from Dishcloth Bandits, and certainly we do on the defense here. Wondering if we'll see a restart from that disconnect, maybe. But Yogsy's going to try and take this one up and uh, find a pass here. Actually, he's going to opt for the boop shot, but Admin Admin uh, able there to save it, whether it was in or not. And this one just going to bounce up to the top and uh, going to be just called Bandits faster to the disc, but not quite as uh, accurate. Admin Admin going to take the shot on the fadeaway. It's just too slow. He has to progress that one way further up. And he had plenty of time to as well. But I don't blame him right now. It must be been pretty hard. And he's actually got an open goal here. Going to try and go for it, but he's just going to bounce off the uh, bounce off the shoulder there. And Yogzi here trying to get this one cleared. Um, just going to bounce w back though, and it's going to be uh, Odyssey trying to get something done on the offense. But uh, Discloth Bandits with another clear. Uh, just missing there, but it's going to go up to Yogsy, who's going to try and progress this one a little bit more. And it will indeed uh, go to Snowy Blue, and uh, he will actually just put that one in for the two yet again. Into the Odyssey goal, just going to lightly dunk that one. The player just, uh, the player from Odyssey just trailing a little bit behind him, but you know he had enough time to take it one, well, take it carefully and not um, try as as hard as they can to not uh, mess it up and uh, put it in slowly, which they definitely did. Admin, Admin, all gonna lose the disc to this snowy blue stack there from uh, from Dishcloth Bandits, and they will take that. Definitely wondering whether we'll see a restart or whether it will even make a difference so far in this round because there is just a minute and a half remaining and uh, Odyssey is absolutely exploded with points. Whether it was due to the fact that they had a, a three-man stack or not. And it seems like they're, they're struggling to get all the players out the out the QB, uh, out of the tunnel, sorry. So, uh, yeah, I mean... I don't know if they rely very heavily on that fourth play to be there um, to get out the tunnel. That's a really nice steal, though, from Snowy Blue, and he's going to put that one in for the 13-0 lead now to Dishcloth Bandits. It is not possible. Uh, there is no mathematical time to put this one in, uh, to get this one back, sorry, for Odyssey. And they will take this round. But, uh... Odyssey gonna try and find, ooh, try and find the disc either, even. My floppy, oh, it looks like we're seeing 
They're calling it off here. Oh, I think they're trying to, by the looks of it, they're trying to reinvite the player. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Just get rid of it. And uh, what's he? Oh. Well, we, we have seven. We have seven seconds. It doesn't matter. My controller just died as well. Yeah. Like my right controller. So. I'm a... Oh dear. So uh, it will be Dishcloth Bandits taking that one thirteen to zero. We didn't see a restart. Just going to go to the scoreboard here. Um, unfortunate there for for Odyssey to uh, for yes for Odyssey to lose uh, their fourth player there. Um, Mickey Man disconnecting for Odyssey, unfortunately, and uh, not able to get back into the game as of yet. So uh, we may be waiting for that for a little bit longer. Actually, no, Mickey Man making it back into the game. So uh, there you go. We should be uh, kicking this off anytime soon, unless we see, unless we see some uh, other issue crop up. I know we saw it from a Trello um, on Dishcloth Band. It's apparently the uh, controllers being um, not charged. So. All right. Sorry guys. No, it's not your fault. No problem. My question is totally black. <laughs> oh, it seems we had um, we had an issue with uh, the screen blacking out. But oh, I'm slow on that. <laughs> Very slow on that. This one is going to get cleared down to Yogzi. And uh, he's going to slap this one away. <laughs> Sorry about that. And uh, Tabby going to try and take this one, but no, Ground Dog going to throw this one away. Just wasn't 100% sure if we were going to be continuing or not, so I uh, held off on that, but nevertheless, not much happened. So, uh, Yogg is going to try and clear this one away from Dishcloth Bandits, but not quite going to be there, and Tabby takes it uh, for the Dishcloth Bandits, just gets this one cleared away. We're not quite working out there, my floppy here, going to try and uh, get this one cleared again, but not quite going to work out. Tabby now, going to take this one. Again for Dishcloth Bandits, and uh, this pass just missing Yogzi. And uh, they're going to try and recollect this now. And uh, Yogzi going to get this one. Going to try and shoot it, but the bounce shot just missing away there. And now Tabby going to recollect it for Dishcloth Bandits. Get that pass up to Ness, but just missing the hands. And it seems like we've seen another disconnect from Odyssey. This time a different player. So that's highly unfortunate. And uh, Yogzi going to get this cross pass up to Rotrello, but just missing there. That's a nice slap away there by Mickey Man. And now... This one uh, recollected uh, by Tabby after a nice stun there. And they're uh, going to try and walk this one up. Actually, it's stolen by Yogzi, but <laughs> looks like trying to bring it back up to Tabby. Um, and in doing that, uh, lost the disc and uh, going to be Snowy Blue getting stunned away here. And the stack for Odyssey here slaps this away. And uh, Snowy Blue here looking to recollect again for Dish Club Bandits. This time, going to clear it backwards. And uh, into the Odyssey zone now. Uh, my floppy looking like gonna gonna get this one first and uh, get this one cleared away. But fortunately, this one um, hitting a block in the process. But uh, Yogzi getting stunned away here and uh, Adam as well. So Yogzi gonna try and take this one here. Do a couple of jukes uh, around the bow tie and now gonna get this one to Snowy Blue. Snowy Blue gonna try and put this one in and is gonna succeed in doing so. The Discloth Bandits here with the 2 to 0. Oh, I, w I don't know what's going on with Odyssey. And now. Uh, See a bit of banter coming in there from, from Team Odyssey. Um, I definitely feel that this, this kind of happened uh, 
This kind of happened to, to us in one of our games. Um, we had uh, Froggyo have a load of black screens. We had uh, Charlie loses uh, booster buttons and uh, some weird stuff happening uh, with internet and, and etc. Um, this one actually might be taken by Discloth Bandits, but no, it's going to be cleared away by Odyssey, but not quite. It's going to be intercepted by Tabby. Tabby going for the 2 pointer will find those two points. And uh, now 4-0 to zero to Discloth Bandits. But yeah, definitely uh, very unfortunate for Odyssey. And uh, yeah, I mean, sometimes things can go wrong at the last second. And well, likely if things go wrong, it is going to be at the last second. <laughs> from my experience, anyway. <laughs> anyway, uh, more floppy gonna try and clear this one down. Actually, we'll get it to Admin Odman, who will uh, try and progress this further, but no, it's gonna be Snowy Blue here. Uh, for Discloth Bandits, trying to walk this one through again, juking around a little bit. Gonna get this pass now to Tabby, who is gonna try and progress this one further, and now Mickey Man getting stunned away uh, by Yogzi there in, in the midline, so buying Tabby uh, plenty of time. A Trello. Um, not quite receiving the disc the first time, but after a couple of bounces, we'll get it. This three-point shot, not quite on uh, on target. And it's going to be intercepted, but now Snowy Blue trying to walk this one up again for Dishcloth Bandits. And now it's going to be uh, stolen away by Admin. He's going to clear this, but it goes straight into Yogg's hands. And now stolen out again by Admin Admin. And he's going to look uh, for this open goal. And uh, we'll take the shot. Not quite on target, though. It's going to be taken now by Snowy Blue. Clears it behind his back. Uh, but it goes straight to Mickey Man over on Odyssey. Couple of jukes there and a nice pass there, but not quite on line. And uh, Yogzi now going to take this one again for Dish Club Bandits. Ooh, losing the hands there. And uh, Mickey Man going to try and look uh, for something not quite there. And Tabby is going to slap that away. But Admin Odman with the intercept and actually with the three pointer as well. So nice play there from Admin Odman and now winning Odyssey three points. So despite that play disconnecting, and it looks like we will see a timeout here. Not quite sure exactly what the time was, but it was 4-3 to three to Dishcloth Bandits. And let's uh, let's open comms and see what's going on. I was out based on four from what we scored four points. Um, okay. And well, we, I, I you saw every round and you didn't. Do it. It I don't know, right? Where you It's understandable that they kept going. So my quest, my quest was completely blacked out. I couldn't see anything. So I restarted my quest and came back in, and then you guys had one twelve four. Uh, right, okay. Four zero. Um, well. And, it's, and um, then in this game, this game now we started at this fine and we were okay, but then our other guy got not disconnected. So yeah, I'm not, I, I'm not 100% sure on the rules uh, myself, but um, no, I'm not really. I, I'm pretty sure I've seen it. Um, uh, groundhog. To be very clear, uh, the rules. You can't just stop the games if your guys keep crashing. Uh, yeah, no, that's understandable. He's coming back now. The rules indicate that uh, now that they've restarted mid-match, they have five minutes um, on the timeout. Do, what we could do since we had crashes in both games is make the average score of what we just the, everything we've played and call that the first match. Well, no. Well, I mean, um, to be honest, I, I I don't really think it wasn't like we weren't going to win that first round. No, definitely. Yeah, no. We're not saying that. Yeah. You're, you're, yeah. So what? The so. Uh, to indicate uh, that from likely isn't going to happen. Um, so the, the the score for the first round should be 100% accurate because uh, there wasn't an, a, a restart indicated by either team. Um, this timeout is uh, Odyssey's timeout. Um, and they have 2 minutes 50 to get their player back in. If they don't, they have to continue with 3 players. Um, and they don't get another timeout from that match. Each team gets one five-minute timeout in a match. It seems like we do get Ground Dog back here. Uh, but yeah, that first. Okay, five minutes forty-seven seconds then, and it'll be four to three. Oh, 
Oh, and it seems like crashing again though. You try and avoid uh, avoid open comms as as much as I can here, but uh, trying to understand what's going on. Um, yeah. Ground dog coming back in. Seems like they have the score and the time set correctly, though. So we should be starting relatively soon. Okay, it seems like we're good. Out of all of us, we all knew I'll be the last one scoring. <laughs> you like Grandon? Yeah. Oh, sorry, just Lucy just did a bit of Yeah. Yeah, that's alright. Then let's go here, ready? Alright. Now readying up. This is the second round, my buddy. And I'll stop the timer until Odyssey readies up though. Because that is the team's timeout this is. <laughs> oh no. We've lost Oh god. This is Okay, someone hit the someone hit the team swap button by accident. Shouldn't be too much of an issue though. And that will be starting now. So uh Round two, kicking off yet again. Six minutes remaining here, and uh, going to be um, actually going to be starting from the midline. Um, should be fine. Uh, hope we don't restart again. That'll that'll uh, <laughs> be quite a bit of time between that. Uh, but uh, Trello going to take this one first, but it's going to be taken by my floppy on the r intercept, and now Ground Dog trying to get this one uh, down. The Dishcloth Bandits half, but it's going to be Snowy Blue of Dishcloth Bandits taking it here and uh, looking for the pass to try and uh, put this one up. This pass being made to Tabby, a nice one there, and that's two points for Dishcloth Bandits. Two more points, should I say. Six to three now. Uh, increasing that point deficit. And a really nice pass over to Tabby by Trello. So it seems like at least uh, through the restarts, it seems like the momentum from Dishcloth Bandits hasn't been stopped in any way. And my floppy going to take this one down though, and it is in fact half nine for me. So uh, uh, the next match should be starting soon, although I will uh, have to figure out what's going on there. Oh no, the disconnect yet again. This time they, they don't really have a timeout um, option, unfortunately. So we're uh, going to be taken here by Snowy Blue and going to try and walk this one up, but not quite working there, Tabby. Uh, trying to walk this one up yet again and will do so and get another two points. So good job again on the offense. I'm gonna have to. Sorry about the um, the cameras, guys. It's gonna be a little bit iffy for a second uh, while I figure out what's going on. Alright, so, sorry about that, back to the game, and it's going to be taken here by Tabby uh, from Dishcloth Bandits, but not quite there, going to be cleared away now from Odyssey, and now uh, you're obviously going to try and take this one through, getting to Tabby, and now we're going to take this one in for the two yet again, a nice cross pass yet again by Yogzi and Tabby making some more points for Dishcloth Bandits. Odyssey finding this really difficult, um, they still have three players, uh, I wonder what sort of issues happening now with ground dog but um, either way 
Uh, my floppy's gonna try and get this one down, but unfortunately not. Not gonna work out there, and Yogzi gonna take this one for himself, gonna try and uh, put this one down. And uh, actually, does end up as a pass to Tabby. Tabby looking at an open goal and will make it. Nice three-pointer there from Tabby. And a great pass, whether it was intentional or not. That clear goes perfectly to Tabby. And Tabby takes that opportunity on the open goal. Great job there by Dishcloth Bandits on the offense. And uh, some really nice passing going on uh, from them. My Fluffy trying to get something done here, but yet another steal, and Snowy Blue going to walk this one up for the three-pointer yet again by Dishcloth Bandits, and now extending that lead massively from 16-3 to 3 since this massive explosion of goals. And now, uh, looking for this one. Oh, and it seems like it's going to be headbutt. Uh, by Yogsy after uh, Odyssey missing the disc and uh, slapping this one back but it's gonna go into the hands of Tabby. Tabby gonna try and clear this one away to Yogsy not quite there and uh, now gonna be taken by Yogsy now and uh, slapped back but it's gonna be uh, taken by Tabby here and uh, put down by, by Yogsy so Looks he's going to try and take this one through, and uh, does make that pass, uh, oh, attempted pass alert up to a Trello, not quite going to be online this time, and it's going to be slapped away. By now, I think it's a, a sealed deal. Uh, there isn't enough time, even if Ground Dog was to come back, or, uh, <laughs> well, speak of the devil. <laughs> even if uh, Ground Dog was to come back, which he did, um, there isn't enough time for, uh, for Odyssey to come back in this game, unfortunately, so... Um, that is going to be game. Dishcloth Bandit's taking it in two. But uh, it's another blue truck. Going to try and get some last few points. And actually, he almost makes them. But it's going to be Ground Dog with the save after his reconnect. And uh, clearing this one through. And uh, almost responds on the other goal. But that's a, a ding. And uh, Ty Tabby taking this one. Clearing it down to, to Yogzi. But uh, this one is just going to be cleared straight down the field. Going to Ground Dog, and now Ground Dog going to try and, uh, and get something done on the offense. Uh, last attempt, if you will, and now Snowy Blue just going to clear that one away after the intercept. That's a good positioning there. Not Bounce comes off the tunnel, and uh, going to be a Trello trying to take this one almost there on the three pointer, but a nice save from a floppy to, to end this game out. Tabby uh, going to try and take a last shot, but saved again by Mickey Man. So GG's to Dishcloth Bandits, Take, taking it in two points, two rounds, sorry. <laughs> and uh, just going to go to the chat yet again, not many messages, but uh, Uncle Shen, absolutely nasty, and Ugly right with the yikes. Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty unfortunate that uh, Odyssey had so many disconnects, but hopefully that'll be fixed for the next match. And Elika Zem, um, 1, 2, 3 coming in the chat, let's sing hi. Hi right back at you. And um, yeah, I mean, that'll be it for this match. So uh, we'll see if I have uh, another match after this one. I did sign up for... Uh, Rusty Robots versus the Grey Apes, um, which is now, <laughs> um, essentially. Oh, is it? I'm, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> Ignore that. I'm stupid. That is an an hour. <laughs> so. <laughs> We're good there. This uh, this match, the the delays didn't cause any uh, any anything else. So uh, sorry about that. Anyway, <laughs> well, later on today we've got Rusty Robots versus the Great Apes at 10:30 BST for me. Um, whatever time zone you're in, that is in about an hour. Um, so uh, tune in later tonight for that. Uh, also, Crusaders versus Iron Legends. Um, midnight BST or wherever you're from, convert that. 
But uh, in about two and a half hours uh, will be that game. And then 30 minutes later is Cosmic Kitties versus Combat Boys. And then later on, um, in about, I want to see, three hours, 30 minutes, it is going to be Mexicans in the Mist versus Riot. And uh, going to be joined by Sputnik Cobra and Skinny229 on that one. So, uh, unless anything else crops up, those are the matches for the rest of today. Thank you guys so much for watching. And of course, thank you to all of our sponsors. As usual, ProTube, VR Cover, Fix It, etc. You're all amazing. Thank you for watching. And uh, catch us later today. So, uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.